Hi, my name is Martin from Printer Potty. What we're going to be doing in this video, showing you how to reset the waste ink counter on this Canon Mega Tank 6050. Now, as you can see at the moment, the error code on here is 5B00. That's basically a waste ink error. Can mean some other things as well, but 5B00 is usually waste ink related. So as you can see, it's flashing back and forth. I believe it's seven flashes. In order to actually reset this counter, you need to put it into something called service mode. Now to do that, first and foremost, we have to turn the printer off. So I'll just do that now. Right, printer is now off, power lights off. What you need to do now is make sure that you have your paper tray at the back fully extended and a few sheets of paper in the back. You also need to make sure that this panel here is open and just for ease, open up your paper output tray just so that when it spits out paper, which it will do, it's able to catch it without it falling on the floor. Okay, so just to recap, paper in the back tray, this tray extended and this panel open. Once you've done that, press and hold the power button here. And then what you're doing now is pressing the stop button five times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. You then release the power button, like so. If you've done it correctly, what should happen is you get this blackish screen. So basically all the pixels in the LCD screen turn black and the printer will then go through an initialization routine and it will spit out a piece of paper in a few seconds, straight into the out tray with no output on it at all. But this is now going into, there it goes, this is now going into service mode. What you do is wait until the power light goes solid before you move on to the next step. Now don't worry about all of the whirring and noises that it's doing at the moment. It's a pre-programmed routine and it does it the same every time. As you can now see, that power light is now shining solid. It's not flashing at all. So now we can move on. So at our computer, now this is a Windows 10 PC. Um, it'll be slightly different on a Mac, but the general premise is the same. What you need to do is download and install your Printpotty WIC reset tool and run it. As you can see, it's already detected our G6050, so it's a 6000 series, and that it is in service mode. That's absolutely critical. As you can see here, it's saying clear waste counters. We are gonna need a key for this. It comes up with this warning, which you do need to read. Don't skip it. Don't just do what you do with oh, terms and conditions, and give away your left kidney. Make sure that the printer does not have any other errors except, except waste overflow error, i.e. 5B00. Okay. Make sure that the printer has recognizable ink cartridges when applicable. Well, we don't have any ink cartridges. We do have ink in the printer though. Okay. And make sure the USB cable is a good quality and that all Canon processes and services are disabled. Now what that means is that it wants us, so we'll click on no. What we want to do is click on disable processes under the support tab. What we want to do is look for any services that are Canon related. We don't have to worry about the Epson. One Epson is for Epson printers, but we're dealing with a Canon printer. So we want to go into task manager and then you will end up with this screen here. We then click on services. What we're looking for is this CIJS register. So I'm going to scroll down CIJS register. There we go. Click on that, right click and choose stop. It's now stopped. We can move that down and let's just update our list. As you can see, it's stopped. It's been recognized when we hit update list. So the only thing remaining now is the Epson one. So that's fine. So we close that and now we're ready. Click on there and then clear waste counters. Now we've already dealt with all of this. So we now click on yes. Input your key, make sure any letters are capitals and then click okay. Okay, what we need to do now is go back to our printer, turn it off, and then turn it back on again. That was the process for resetting it on our computer. We're now back at the printer. So what we do, click 
power button off to turn it off. That will finalize the reset process. When we turn it back on again, we will find that the error has gone. And we'll wait. It does take about a minute for it to go through a shutdown process from being in service mode. So please be patient. It's still whirring and clicking. There's nothing to be alarmed about. Okay, power is now off. Moment of truth. Just turn the power on as normal and we wait. And as you can see, no more error flashing here. The waste count has been reset and now we can run a nozzle check to make sure that the printer is still printing correctly and uh, that everything's working fine. And as you can see, the printer is going through a normal paper feed test by chucking out that piece of paper as it did in service mode. Okay. Okay. As you can see, the printer is now happy. The error has cleared. You no longer have a flashing light and you're good to go. If you haven't already, you want to solve the physical waste ink problem and install a printer potty, waste ink tank, and we show you in a video how to do that just here.